Next Alert Forecast with meteorologist David Harker, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Another look at your first alert forecast. Welcoming back in meteorologist David Harker. So we've had some doom and gloom this week as far as the weather is concerned. A nice start to the weekend, though, David? Yeah, you know, it kind of depends on where you are. Some places will see the rain shower start tonight. Mm -hmm. Some places may not. And even throughout the daytime tomorrow, it'll just be cloudy. Mm -hmm. It'll feel more gloomy. And this is what we should be seeing this time of the year. And not necessarily the 40-degree temperatures, yeah. 50s and 60s, like we saw earlier this week. However, be prepared for a little bit of snow in the forecast. Could it accumulate? Yeah, it's possible. Let's take a look at the Doppler radar starts you out with this evening and just a few scattered light rain showers. Nothing to really be too concerned about out there. We're waiting for a cold front to make its way through. Now, as it does, then we'll see the change in our weather and we'll see those winds eventually just shift off a little bit. However, at this point, all is quiet. Let's take a look at the rest of the conditions outside. The temperatures out there, 37 degrees right now in the capital city, coming in at 36 in Mason, out in Howell as well, and even closer to the tri-state down in Adrian, coming in at 35 degrees at the present time. Across the region we go, a lot of cooler air up to the north. The warmth still down to the south, and it's actually ahead of the cold front, which is still making its way through Wisconsin and will continue to do so later tonight. A lot of 40 degree weather from Green Bay all the way down to uh, Madison at 43 degrees and 46 degree temperatures in Chicago and the Quad Cities. As we take a look at the satellite and radar combination, you can pick out that cold front making its way through parts of Wisconsin and northern Michigan at this hour. For us, we'll just see some rain showers associated with it. Not necessarily a lot of cooler weather behind this system. Expect highs tomorrow in the middle 40s, even after that cold front already makes its way through. So let's take a look in time on the future track. There it is, cold front by 7 a.m., still making its way through the eastern part of the viewing area. Cloud cover, it'll still remain. Don't rule out a scattered rain shower or two throughout the morning hours. That could continue throughout the day. A lot of the rain shower activity still staying to the south on this model. As we transition going into Saturday, we'll see a chance of snow showers, light snow showers for the most part, and could even mix in some rain showers really depends on where you are and what the temperatures will do. That'll really depend on what kind of precipitation that we'll see. Now, as we transition from Saturday into Sunday, could still see some more snow showers. And even into Monday, we're going to call for a very light chance of a snow shower. Let's take a look at your forecast tonight. 35 degrees. Rain is expected in across the area and temperatures will actually be rising throughout the evening hour. So 35 degrees, that's a low temperature. But once we get to morning, we'll start to see temperatures creeping up into the upper 30s. Take a look at your 1-800 Hanson weather kid, Dante. He's got the right idea. He's got the jacket. He's got the gloves. He's ready for a cool start to the morning, but a mild 45 degree temperature. That's what we're expecting throughout the uh, daytime on excuse me, on Friday, so be prepared for that. And as we take a look at the next seven days, there are a chance of rain showers and snow showers mixing in Saturday and Sunday. Do have a slight chance of snow showers on Monday will accumulate. Yeah, it's possible. We'll continue to watch it, but it won't amount to much. I don't anticipate much more than a dusting if that even is the case. 34 degree ratings by the middle of next week on Tuesday, Wednesday, 38. And coming up next Thursday with partly cloudy skies, 40 degree temperatures. No, no 50s or 60s in this forecast, but uh, you never know with Mother Nature in mid-Michigan, especially this year. We've seen the warmth, we've seen the cold, yeah. and it's been varying month to month. By the way, I just want to point out, I really like Dante's fashion sense there. Yeah, I, man. I, like, I like the gear He's he had on. dialing and profiling. <laughs> Devin Air, just like you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, David. We've got more local and state news that's coming up after the break. Stick around. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10.